In this video, you will see what is the top 10 must-have units in update 17.5. Every unit in this video are all obtainable and not from trading. I do want to know what you guys think is the best unit in update 17.5. Remember to subscribe and like and with that being said... In no particular order, the first must-have unit is a Sushi Moonlight Beast. Sushi is one of the newest units added in this update 17.5 and he became one of the best ground units especially he does bleeding which is insanely strong against regen enemies. Asushi Moonlight B stats a max upgrade and max level are 158,000 damage with his SPA at 5.6 seconds making his damage per second at 28,214.28 which is insanely strong especially he does bleeding damage and I will let you guys know about the new unit stats I have mentioned in this video at the comments of this video. How to evolve Asushi Moonlight Beast is by defeating the new port agency portal countless of times which you can obtain from other portals or you can buy the portals from Dazai in the lobby. The best trait you can have on Asushi Moonlight Beast is Divine since he is a 4 placement and if you're going for Infinity Castle Room then go for Unique. Asushi Moonlight Beast damage types are Physical and Aqua. Alright next unit is Fuji Admiral. Fuji is still the best physical heal unit and the strongest heal unit in this update 17.5 especially with his 2 hit at placement making him great against healed enemies and overall a good heal unit. Pong. Fuji Admiral stats a max upgrade and max level are 157,205.43 damage with his SPA at 11 seconds making his damage per second at 14,291.4 which makes Fuji Admiral the best physical heal unit and overall the best heal unit as I have already mentioned bro especially with how cheap he is to max upgrade with an insane damage and one of the best shield breaker heal unit as he is a 2 hit. A placement which will do multi hit and later upgrades. How to evolve Fuji is by defeating the puppet portal, which you can get through the puppet island infinite mode. Fuji Admiral costs 66,500 yen to max upgrade one single Fuji Admiral, and his damage types are physical and dark. Okay, next unit is Gilgamesh King of Heroes. Gilgamesh is one of the best ground units, especially he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades. And even on his unevil, which is insanely strong in this update 17.5. Gilgamesh King of Heroes stats a max upgrade and max level are 518,000 damage with his SPI at 11 seconds, making his damage per second at 46,666, which is one of the best damage per second ground unit in this update 17.5. How to get Gilgamesh is by defeating the new secret golden portal, which you can get through the Fate portals. How to evolve Gilgamesh to Gilgamesh King of Heroes is by defeating the new Fate portals countless of times which you can obtain through the brand new infinite mode in this update 17.5. Gilgamesh damage types are magic and light and the best trait you can have on Gilgamesh is unique as he is a 3 placement. Alright next unit is Guts Berserk. Guts Berserk is one of the strongest unit with his full AoE and as well as he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades in this update 17.5. Guts Berserk stats a max upgrade and max level are 326,850 damage with his SPA at 12 seconds making his damage per second at 27,237.5 which is insanely strong especially Guts is a full AoE and will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades. Guts also does an addition of 25% bleeding in 4 ticks which is the best tick you can have on a bleeding unit. How to evolve Guts to Guts Berserk is by defeating the Eclipse Portal which you can obtain through the Win Him Infinite Mode which is incredibly very easy. Especially the map is quite large so you can just place further back if you are playing solo. Guts Berserk damage types are physical and fire. Okay next unit is Shalta Blood Fallen. Shaltir is one of the best bleeding amplification unit especially she has a way better DPS and AoE size than Power Fiend in this update 17.5. Shaltir stats a max upgrade and max level are 111,829 damage with her SPA at 8 seconds making her damage per second at 13,878.67. On placement, Shalta will be able to make bleeding damage 5 times more which is insanely strong especially when pairing with Guts Berserk. It's gonna be extremely useful for leaderboard runs, tournaments, 
and many more. So I highly recommend to be careful trading for Power Fiend since Shaltir is just a way better power. How to evolve Shaltir is by defeating the brand new Undead Tome Legend Stage, which you will have to continuously grind multiple of the Legend Stages, especially you will be needing 10 of each Overlord Ring. Blue, Red, and Yellow. Shaltir Blood Fallen's damage types are Physical and Roast. Alright, next unit is Anne's yeah. Overlord. Ainz is one of the best ground unit as he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies especially he will become a full AoE and at the same time Ainz spawns units which will deal 1,725,000 damage at max upgrade which is insanely good in this update 17.5. Ainz Overlord stats at max upgrade and max of LR, 345,152.44 damage, with his SPA at 10 seconds, making his damage per second at 34,515.24, which is one of the most overpowered damage per second, especially he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies, oh my goodness, and becomes a full AoE, like come on now. How to get Ainz Overlord is by awakening the Overlord staff after sacrificing 3 evolved mythic units from Overlord. How to evolve Ainz Overlord is by defeating the brand new Undead Tome Legend Stage, which you will have to continuously grind multiple of the Legend Stages, especially you'll be needing 10 of each Overlord ring, blue, red, and yellow. Ainz Overlord damage types are Magic and Dark. Okay, the exit is Stain Hero Slayer, who is still one of the best DPS ground unit in this update 17.5 since the ability that he will get at later upgrades is extremely strong. Thane Hero Slayer stats at max upgrade and max level R, 91,870 damage with his SPA at 5.6 seconds making his damage per second at 16,405.35 which is insanely strong. How Stain, Slayer, how Stain Hero Slayer works with this ability is whenever Blood Curdle is activated, Stain's damage will deal 3 times more. For every bleeding enemy inside his range, the ability can create 4.5 times of Stain's current damage, and as well as it stuns enemies for 2 seconds, and his ability is not a global ability, which technically, you can spam the ability. Oh my goodness. Although there's a catch. There is a 10 seconds cooldown on enemies who have been affected by the ability. And the ability cooldown is 20 seconds. Stain Hero Slayer will be extremely good when pairing with bleeding units, especially Guts Berserk, who is one of the most overpowered unit in this update 17.5, where he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies at later upgrades, making Stain Hero Slayer the best. Especially when Blood Curdle is activated, since it will attack every enemy inside his range that are bleeding. Stain Hero Slayer damage types are physical and dark. Alright, next unit is Chuyo Corruption. Chuyo Corruption is one of the newest units added in this update 17.5, and he became the best magic heal unit. <laughs> bye bye, Metal Knight. Since he is a multi hit at later upgrades and having the most overpowered stats. Overpower stats, despite of him being a 4 placement. Chuyo Corruption stats a max upgrade and max level R, 212,000 damage with his SPA at 8.3 seconds, making his damage per second at 25,542.16, which is insanely strong, especially as I have mentioned that he is a 4 placement with an overpower stat. Oh my goodness, how to evolve Chuyo Corruption is by defeating the new port agency portal countless of times which you can obtain through the portal or you can buy the portals from Dazai in the lobby. The best trait you can have on Chuyo Corruption is Divine as he is a 4 placement and if you're going for Infinity Castle then go for Unique. Chuyo Corruption damage types are Magic and Fire. Okay, next unit is Law Room. Law is still one of the best ground and support unit in this update 17.5. Especially, Law is extremely overpowered to bring in Infinity Castle, not only because of his ability, but how surprisingly cheap he is to max upgrade which will be useful in Infinity Castle, leaderboard runs, and many more. Law Room stats a max upgrade and max level R, 150,141 damage with his SPA at 5.9 seconds, making his damage per second at 25,447.62, which is insanely good for a support unit as he has an ability on placement called Shamble. When activated, the enemies will be teleported back, which is insanely strong, and he is a way better Lulu Gia, so if you didn't know, now you know. And Law Room will be valuable in Infinity Castle, Little Boy Runs, Tournaments, and uh, 
many more. The Shamble ability affects air, ground enemies, and bosses, which is insanely good. Lorum is incredibly easy to evolve as you just have to continuously defeat the puppet portal, which are easy to defeat even if you are soloing the portal. The best trait you can have on Lorum is unique as he is a 3 placement and alternative traits you can have on him are Sniper and Divine, so he will be able to teleport back more enemies with his huge range. Lorum's damage taps are Magic and Aqua. Alright, next unit is Archer Heroic Spirit, which is one of the best ground unit as at later upgrades you'll be able to hit both air and ground enemies in this update 17.5 archer heroic spirit stats a max upgrade and max level r 252 000 damage with his spa at 6.4 seconds making his damage per second at 39,375, which is insanely strong as he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies and at the same time he will be useful for physical infinity castle rooms the best trait you can have on Archer Heroic Spirit is Divine, or if you're going for Infinity Castle Room, then go for Unique. How to evolve Archer is by defeating the new Fate Portal countless of times which you can obtain through the brand new Infinite Mode map. Archer Heroic Spirit damage taps are Physical and Fire. Okay, next unit is Griffith Ascension. Griffith is the most overpowered unit and even better than Dio over Heaven himself with Griffith extremely overpowered passive in this update 17.5. Griffith Ascension stats a max upgrade and max level R, 20,711 damage with his SP at 6.3 seconds making his damage per second at 3,287.46. If you sacrifice buff units, Griffith will turn into Griffith Reincarnation where it will buff your units by 100% and you can stack your buff with Griffith Reincarnation which is incredibly overpowered. If you sacrifice Mythic, Secret, Legendary, Epic, Rare Units, Griffith Reascension, <laughs> Griffith Ascension will become a full AoE DPS which is the most overpowered unit in anime adventures which I've already mentioned. Do keep in mind that Griffith does not of a cap, making him insanely overpowered so I definitely recommend trying to get your Griffith Darkness damage up to 300 plus damage before he transforms because it will be broken for Griffith to have such an insane amount of damage with him being a full AoE and multi hit which will be great against shield enemies and also leaderboard runs. Griffith buff is based on the cost of the unit which if you have maxed out the units it will give more percentage of the damage buff or buff before Griffith transforms. Alright, next in is Usopp God. Usopp is still the best boss killer in this update 17.5 especially. He is a hybrid unit on placement which means he will be able to attack both air and ground enemies in this update 17.5. Oh my god. Usopp God stats a max upgrade and max level R. 414,182.93 damage with his SP at 5 seconds making his damage per second at 82,836.59 which is currently the highest damage and damage per second unit in this game currently. Usopp God is extremely overpowered for Infinity Castle so I highly recommend getting Usopp God especially he will be able to carry you in your early waves in any maps. Usopp God attack types are True Damage and Air which he will ignore Yellow Shield and be insanely good for Infinity Castle as he will ignore Resistance. W Unit Okay, next unit is Dazai, no longer human. Dazai is one of the newest units added in this update 17.5 and he became one of the most overpowered magic ground units. Since that placement, he will get an ability called no longer human. Dazai no longer human stats a max upgrade and max level R, 326,000 damage with his SP at 10.3 seconds, making his damage per second at 31,650.48, which is insanely strong, especially he is also a full AoE, which is insanely overpowered. Dazai's ability, no longer human, makes every enemy loses their status. Shield, armored, flying, regen, ice, and many more for 20 seconds, which is insanely strong, so I highly recommend trying to get Dazai since he is literally strong. Like, what the heck, bro? Oh my god. How to evolve Dazai is by defeating the new port agency portal countless of times which you can obtain through the portal or you can buy the portals from Dazai in the lobby. And how to get Dazai is by defeating the new detective secret portal that you can obtain by crafting 4 detective shards which you can get from defeating the portal agency portal. The best trait you can have on Dazai no longer human is unique 
Sniper, and Divine. Yes, since he do need that range. But if you're more of going for damage, then go for Unique. And as I know, longer human damage types are Magic and Light. Alright, last but not least is Koichi Echoes. Koichi is one of the best ground and support units since at later upgrades he will be able to hit both air and ground enemies and also slow them which is insanely overpowered in this update 17.5. Koichi Echo stats a max upgrade and max level are 116,811 damage with his SP at 6.3 seconds making his damage per second at 18,541.42 which is pretty good especially at later upgrades this slow will make enemies 80% slower which is basically like a freeze and he's actually the first unit in a while to hit both air and ground enemies that slow oh my goodness how to evolve Koichi to Koichi Echoes is by defeating the new raid of Bizarre Town countless of times because you will be needing 400 killer coins and star fruits as well for you to be able to evolve one of the newest Jojo Bizarre units. I do recommend to buy all of the Heart Bomb Raid Relics since it will help you once you have bought every single of the Heart Bomb Raid Relics. Koichi Echo's damage types are physical and air. That was everything for this video on the top 10 must have units in update 17.5. I hope this video helped you in some sort of way. Remember to subscribe and like and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye and stay safe. I love you guys.